Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about a book that I read a long time ago. I read this book having no college education and only a GED and I read the entire book. Okay, so I was able to read this book with no high school education and I was able to read the entire book and I did almost every single problem in the book. I think there was one or two I didn't do and I was able to teach myself C. So I think uh, this is a good book. Um, so that's why I think this book is awesome. Um, is this book still in print? I'm not sure. I will look after I make the video and I will put a link in the description if it is. Uh, but to me this book is extremely special because this is the book uh, that got me into learning, that got me into programming, which eventually led me to study mathematics. Let's take a look inside this book. So this is the table of contents and I remember reading uh, chapter one and I remember really appreciating how it explained everything because I didn't know anything, right? I mean, it talked about electronic computers then and now, computer hardware, computer software. I didn't know what any of that was. And so I was able to read this book and it helped me. It helped me learn and understand uh, how things work uh, in computers. So this is an extremely good introductory book. And honestly, even if you think you already know stuff, uh, maybe it's still worth reading, right? I mean, I really, really got a lot from this book. Then it talks about the overview of C. Now, I should mention here that I did have some help when I was learning C programming. My brother uh, knew how to program a little bit, and he showed me what a compiler was. So I was able to, like, download my first compiler and, you know, get my first uh, Hello World program uh, going. Uh, completely self-taught, of course, with the help of my brother uh, with the compiler. It talks about top-down design with functions. Really, really basic book, right? If and switch statements. Just really basic C. I'll just keep going through it slowly. Repetition and loop statements. Modular programming. It talks about some simple data types. And then it goes on to arrays. Strings. It talks about recursion. Structure and union types, really basic stuff, right? Talks about text and binary file processing. Programming in the large. Dynamic data structures. This is where it gets hard. This is where I, I started to have a hard time. Pointers. I remember having such a hard time with pointers and double pointers. I was like, oh my god, what is a pointer? Uh, it takes, takes a lot of effort when you're starting out. And it keeps going, and then it has uh, some other stuff. And it does have answers. So this is a really basic book. It's a really good introductory book. And it's a textbook, right? So I think it's written uh, for someone who's going to be taking a class in college because it has assignments. But again, I read this book uh, even before I was in college. I read the entire thing, and um, it made sense, right? It made sense to me. It talks about keyboards. You know, keyboard for IBM type computers, really old school stuff, right? Computer networks, talks about local area networks. Uh, look, an output device called a printer. So really, really basic stuff. So what I would do to learn uh, is I would actually, you know, type up the code that was in the book. So they have this code here. So you type it into your compiler and you hit compile. And then you just make sure uh, that you know, it spits out the desired output. And then you try to do it on your own. And then at the end of the section, there's exercises. And then you try to do the exercises and make sure that they, you know, produce the required output. You learn to code uh, by actually making code, not just reading. So you have to read and actually code at the same time. I probably should mention that uh, besides this book, I also used other sources. Um, there's another book by Kernighan and Ritchie, uh, the C programming language, I believe it's called. Uh, that's like the, you know, the father of C programming, right? That's, that's like the book. Um, so I use that as well. Uh, it's a little more advanced than this, a little bit harder to read. This one's a little bit more user friendly. Also, I should give credit. I used, um, Steve Summit's FAQ on C programming. I don't know if that still exists, uh, if you know what that's about, yeah, awesome, right? That's really, really old school. I think Steve Summit had uh, a news group uh, for C programming, I believe. And uh, he had the FAQ for that news group uh, back in the day. So uh, there was a lot of technical questions there uh, with answers that I would always reference. 
So this is the book, Problem Solving and Programming Design in C. Um, again, I thought it was a great book. Uh, there might be better books out there, but for me, this is the one that started it all. I read this book and I learned from it. So there it is. That's it.